You're watching BaseNet Internet Television, a BaseNet Intermedia Group company. Hi everyone, this is Jill Hindley about Boston and I am at one of the most wonderful places in all of New England, which is Fenway Park here in Boston. We are here covering Fenway Fantasy Day, which is a day spon it's sponsored by John Hancock, and all the donations and proceeds for today go to the Red Sox favorite charity, which is the Jimmy Fund, of course, and it's a beautiful day here. Fenway Fantasy Day is basically um, you make a donation anywhere from about 700 750 all the way up to $5,000, and you make a donation as a fan, as a wannabe be Red Sox player and you come out here for for part of the day and you get to go up and do an at bat you get to get it looks like they get a whole bunch of pitches so you can see out there that there's somebody at bat right now and then another option another package would be to be um, out in the outfield catching fly balls or you can combine them and do some of each so it's called it's a fantasy day and the Red Sox have it every year the Jimmy Fund is part of the day of course and it is sponsored by John Hanks Hancock, and it's beautiful. We've got Wally the Green Monster is here, and um, as well as we got fly balls flying over our head. And it's just a quiet day at Fenway, but it's a fun day. So we're thrilled to be here. It's the first year we've ever covered this event, and we're going to go talk to some players, some batters who've gotten out there, or maybe someone who's gone caught, caught a fly ball today. It's been amazing to be able to be a part of something this big, and with working for John Hancock and volunteering for the Jimmy Fun, it's a blast. It seems like a pretty fun a fun thing to do on a Saturday, you know, and get some extra credit at work. How about you? I mean, I didn't even expect all the stuff that's going on right now. I'm just so glad to be here and just see, like, the, the smiling expression on all these kids' faces. That made my day. <laughs> and, and the weather is perfect. <laughs> Saw that tiny, tiny kid when we first got here. He's like really little. It's it's it seems like it's been super fun. So well, thanks for chatting with us and um, enjoy the rest of the day. And what does it feel funny when you step out on the like? Have you ever been out here on the field? No, it's pretty amazing. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I first stepped out, I was uh, when I first stepped out, I thought it was like magical. Yeah, so it's definitely an experience. Yeah. Okay, thanks, guys. I'll be bragging at work a little bit. <laughs> How fast were the balls? That's what I want to know. How fast were they coming in? Um, they said about 60, 60 miles per hour. So it wasn't really that fast, but um, at first it kind of was, you know, getting the timing on point. But later on, from the batting, it, you know, I got hang of it so you got your timing yeah, yeah cool so you, how many how many things did, did you how many did you hit um around 20 oh. it's like 22 23 it's amazing so you're a good baseball player yeah. you still playing now yeah. babe ruth or something higher uh something higher <laughs> tell me the name of your team edwards Okay. Out of middle school, so oh, I don't middle, like. Oh, middle school team. And what's the name of your little league team? Uh, White Sox. Oh, cool. And how are you guys doing this season? You must be in the playoffs now. Um, um, I'm in the All Star team, so basically, -Star. yeah. Well, so I'm in Jimmy Fun. Okay, cool. And I have one last question for you. What position is the one that you play the most on your team? Pitcher. Pitcher. Oh. So you got to, today you got to get on the other side of it and really and get 25 pitches going 60 miles an hour. How many did you hit? I mm, like at least 20. Oh my God, you guys are great. You guys are solid players. That's why you're here at Fenway. <laughs> All right, Pedro and Marcus, thanks so much for chatting with us. So you guys got to get out there and bat today, and they gave you didn't bring your own bat from home. No. Um, what was your favorite part about being out there? Was the ball coming at you fast? What do you think? The ball, the ball coming at me fast. Faster than the the pitches in your le little league at home? Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Dominic? I like doing the tee. Oh, you did it off the tee. That is smart. See, there's a smart guy. So you're from Wil Wilmington, Massachusetts. You came down here and you got to bat. Now, I want to know what your favorite position is to play in. Uh, do you play double A? 
or Little League. And are you playing t-ball? No. no, not at home. Okay, what do you like to play when you play at home, though, in the backyard or front? Um, batting. Okay, you like to bat. All right, how about you, Dominic? Catching. Oh, you like to catch. Oh, there you go. You might be like Salto Macchia someday, right? Who's your favorite Red Sox player? David Ortiz. David Ortiz. <laughs> Big Poppy fans. I mean, who else? He's the best, right? Thanks, guys. So this was our Fenway Fantasy Day here, just standing so close with the green monster right behind me. I mean, who can beat that? And I got to hang out with Wally, the green monster, and I got to call the bullpen today. I called up a new pitcher. The, the starting pitcher or starting pitcher machine was getting tired. So uh, it's been a great afternoon here at Fenway Fantasy Day. We talked to some John Hancock employees that were volunteering and they were very gracious. Uh, we also talked to a, a couple groups of just super cute kids who got to partake today and have the honor of going up to bat and, and hitting the balls here uh, at Fenway Park. So having the honor to be out on the field. You make a donation to the Jimmy Fund and you get to come here and you get to spend the day with your family and they get to watch you. And who can beat that? So it's been really fun to be here. And uh, especially with the perspective of being at Fenway when you're the only fans, right? It's like it's kind of cool to look around and and uh, and see what it looks like here behind the scenes. So we've had a good time. We got to support another Jimmy Fund event. So for Jill Hindley from Fenway Park about Boston.